hey guys welcome back to codewise in this video we will talk about how to dockerize spring boot application and uh, postgresql database so both the applications will be running in two different docker containers and uh, i hope the docker setup at your local system has already been done so the first step would be going to the docker hub which is hub.docker.com and there you register yourself if you have not registered yet and then you go to the explore part and you will come to this dashboard scroll down a little bit until you find out postgres image now if you can see we have a command given docker pull postgres so by using this command we are going to pull this postgres sql uh, image to our local system and then we have uh, the tag section so basically it tells which version of postgres sql you are going to use so just open your command prompt and type docker pull postgres and if you want to bring a specific version of postgres then you can mention the version after a colon if 15.1 then you can mention 15.1 why 15.1 because here in the tag section we have given specific version now if you won't specify anything then by default the latest version will be pulled and before executing this command i'll show you how many images i have and for that I'll execute docker images as of now there is no image in my local so I'll copy this pull command and execute now this will take a while to download all the uh, dependencies related to this postgres image all right so the image has been pulled now to see that we, we will again execute docker images you can see the image with the latest tag so the latest version of postgres has been pulled and then we are going to run this postgres database in the docker container for that i'll execute a command docker run postgres postgres with the image name but this is not the sufficient information in the command line we are giving so it also needs some additional properties like we are going to run this postgres container in a detached mode so that it will run in the background also we will need a port mapping so the default port provided by the postgres sql database is 5432 and we will map that with 5432 again so what basically mean is the right hand side port represents the port mapping done to the postgres sql container and the left hand side 5432 represents the port which is going to be exposed to outside world so that our spring boot application can connect with it and then we need some environment variables saying uh, the database name uh, username and password so just uh, go to the docker hub again scroll down a little bit till the environment variable and you will find the keys where you can specify the password username and the database so we'll use that hyphen e postgres password i'll give admin hyphen e postgres user will also be admin and again hyphen e to specify the database copy the postgres underscore db say my db and one important thing is is uh, volume mapping that volume mapping should be done because when we stop this postgres sql uh, container and when we start the postgres sql container again we should not lose our data so it will be treated as a backup so just uh, to do the volume mapping go to docker hub search for volume again and here you can find out the hyphen v a certain properties then copy that property paste it here the left hand side represents the persistent storage path provided by docker so the data folder is the uh, persistent storage provided by docker and the right hand side custom path we don't need obviously so we will create a folder in our c drive say postgres container data i'll copy this path and paste it to the left hand side of the colon so now we have successfully uh, you know mapped the persistent storage provided by the docker container to this postgres sql database so now one last property we need which is the name of the container so we can use double hyphen name equal to postgres underscore con you observe one more thing after equal to you should not put any white space otherwise the uh, command will fail once that is done just hit enter now if you want to see the run running container you can execute docker ps and you will find the postgresql underscore con 
the container we have created just now and to see all the running containers we can execute command called docker ps hyphen a as of now we already have we we have only one container so docker hyphen ps docker ps hyphen a uh, will provide you all the containers which is in running state or even not in running state we will get all the informations so the step one is done now the step two is we are going to create an image for spring boot application and that spring boot application is a test app application this is the same application that I have been using since the beginning of the video tutorial where we had configured the in-memory S2 database, performed CRUD operations. We also uh, did some Swagger configuration and also sent some custom request header through Swagger. And then also we had seen uh, how to mask or hide sensitive contents in the log. So you can also check out those videos. I'll provide those uh, video description links in the description as well and so let's start the second step where we have to create uh, you know a, the image for this test app application earlier i have been using this h2 database so i'll comment out all the connection properties since we are going to use the postgresql database related connection properties and by the way my application is running under 8089 port so here i'm going to use the postgresql connection properties so PostgreSQL connection properties, we need the driver class name, data source URL, username and password. The same connection properties you have given in the command line, right? MyDB is the database, admin is the username and password. The same thing we have provided here. And the remaining three properties are related for the Hibernate JPA so that it will create the schema, Hibernate will create the schema, prepare the schema in the PostgreSQL database running in the Docker container as soon as this test app container runs or as soon as the Spring Boot application starts running in the Docker container. So one more important thing, since both test app Spring Boot application and PostgreSQL database are base is running in two different uh, Docker containers. So when we are trying to connect Spring Boot application running in one container to PostgreSQL database running in another container, this Spring Boot application will fail to connect because we are using localhost 5432. So we need to provide the exact host name and the port number. Port number 5432 is what we are exposing. I had mentioned this 5432 left hand side 5432 we have to map with Spring Boot application which we are already doing. But the host name host name should not be localhost so to see exactly uh, what is the host name or exactly what is the IP address that we have to map then you can use another command called docker inspect followed by the container name or the container ID so I'll give you the container name which is postgres underscore con and then I'll hit enter and at the end you will see IP address 172.1702 copy that and replace this localhost by that IP address. That is the very important step. And the second important step is creating a Docker file. So the Docker file we will create under the root folder of the Spring Boot application. Docker file where the D is capital. And then we will write down certain commands or the steps so that when we are building an image for this test app application, Docker will execute them. So the step one is from open JDK colon 17. I'm using JDK 17 so I'll also pull this image and then I'll copy the jar file after maven clean install there will be a jar file available. I've already done the maven clean install so there is a jar file you can see generated for the Spring Boot application. So I'll copy this test app.jar by using this copy command. So the jar file will be copied from the target folder and it will create test app.jar and then we will expose our Spring Boot application to a certain port to run, right? So we have to mention the same port we have provided here. So expose to 8089 and then the last command is entry point. Here we'll mention Java jar test app.jar so basically this is the typical uh, that java hyphen jar command uh, for running a java application so the same command we have to mention so this docker file part is done now we will open the terminal 
I'll open the terminal in the IntelliJ itself. Now we will execute this uh, Docker file or we will build an image for this test app application by executing Docker build command. And then we'll mention dot. Why dot? Because uh, under the same directory we have this Docker file. And important thing is we will also mention the name of the image. To mention the name, we are not going to use double hyphen name, rather we will use double hyphen tag or you can mention sing, single hyphen and then T, minus T you can mention. We will tell the name test app underscore IMG and then when we hit enter, it will create an image. Alright, so it took a while to create an uh, image of the test app application. So let's see that uh, by using docker images command. So now we have two images, test app underscore image as well. So we are almost close uh, to the end. So the last step is to create container out of this test app underscore IMG. So let me quickly show you how to do that. Docker run. We need a detach mode as well. We, then we need a port mapping. So the port is 8089 colon again 8089. As I told you, the right hand side of the port represents the container port. So 8089 is the port where a Spring Boot application, test app application will run in the Docker container. And this left hand side 8089 port will be exposed to outside world. So from browser, when we hit the request to localhost to 8089, so this will be the port where it will be listened. And then the image name. And also we need the container name. For that we will use double hyphen name equal to test app underscore con. That's it. Hit enter. Container got created. So execute docker ps to see the running containers. And now both the containers are running. And to see the Spring Boot related logs, we can use docker logs test app underscore con. And this will show the Spring Boot related logs. Now go to your browser and search for localhost 8089 slash swagger hyphen ui slash index dot html and we have order and product controller and i'll show you how the data is getting saved into the postgresql database as well so first let me save a product Okay, so we are getting 200 response and I'll show you on PG admin 4. I'll connect with PostgreSQL database and I'll show you uh, the inserted details. So once you are in the PG admin 4, it will ask you a master password. My master password is admin. Now click on the server, then go to object, register server. Server name is, let's say test app DB. Connection name host should be localhost. Port is fine, 5432 database is mydb, username admin, password admin and save. Test app connection has been created and you can see the database, expand the schema, then scroll down, expand the tables and as you can see, Hibernate is properly creating tables uh, based on the entities we have. So let me show you the entity details as well. Under SRC main Java, under entity package, we have order and product and I'll show you the product the one which I inserted. Right click on the product and go to query tool and you can execute select star from product and you can see the product is already in inserted. So this is how we got the confirmation that uh, from Swagger also we can uh, do the we can perform the crowd operation and our Spring Boot application which is running in uh, in one container. Let me quickly show you docker ps so Spring application is running in one container. Docker is running in another container. And we connected the Spring Boot application to Docker by using the PostgreSQL connection properties where we had to provide the IP address of the PostgreSQL database. And for that I executed docker inspect command and then postgres underscore con and where I found out the IP address which is this one. And I configured it to the application properties and that's how we connected. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, there is, I know there is another solution by using Docker Compose also we can uh, do the containerization for both test app application and PostgreSQL database. So I'll create a separate video for this. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Bye bye.